I, um, I'm a recovering academic, I call myself. I have a PhD from Yale that I taught for many years. I've been kicked out of some of the best universities in America because of my political activities and dissident opinions. It's not very interesting. The ideas are more interesting than me. There's a lot of wealth out in the world. And these colonizers did not just build empire for dominion's sake. They built them to go after wealth. So much of the world was underdeveloped to be reduced to a form of brutal extraction by the colonizers and the empire builders. Underdevelopment is imposed upon the country. That's what imperialism did. People began to be fascinated by the idea that they would be able to harness some of this power of nature. Instead of cringing before the power of nature, to actually harness it and become master of this power, it led to this process of material plentitude instead of material scarcity. It led to industrial capitalism. And with capitalism, you get a, a hijacking of this process the essence of capitalism is to convert living nature into commodities and commodities into dead capital. And it reaches the point where finance capital develops means of just reproducing its own wealth with hedge funds. And while the whole country is suffering, these guys are making more and more money. The preoccupation of the super rich to do nothing but augment their wealth is a pathology. And that's who we've got running this world. These are small groups of plutocrats whose addiction is to make the world safe for their continued accumulation of wealth. These people are dangerous. The lunatics are running the asylum. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. I order all those assembled to immediately disperse. No matter what your purpose is, you must leave. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested and or subject to other police action, which could cause risk of injury to those who remain. They don't want a country where the entire population is literate, articulate, has a high sense of entitlement. We, they don't want a country where working people like my father could send his son to school. They want us working harder and harder for less and less. The lesser your opportunities, the, the harder you will work. The real goal is the third worldization of everywhere. And so what we often hear is we need more activism and all that. But activism without political education and ideological education is just good works. We mustn't lose ourselves in good works. We should use the good works also as a way of advancing consciousness.